Hey everyone, this week OpenAI has launched five new GPT models, three of them being their GPT-5 series, GPT Mini, GPT Nano, and so on. And we have two of their brand new open source models, which is GPT OSS 20B and GPT OSS 120B. And today we are going to explore how we can get these running and how we can get started with them super quickly using Langflow. And you could start using them right away for your agents, your agentic workflows, and your other basic AI workflows. So let's get started. So I'm gonna actually hop straight into Langflow. I'm going to bring out the OpenAI component. And this is basically just a representative of the OpenAI model. So if I drop down these model names, you see the ones that are here currently. But I'm going to show you how you can get the GPT-5 models. And now it's really just as simple as opening the code here. And I'm going to actually hop into one of my colleague Phil Nash's blog posts where he actually gives us the exact line of code here. So all we're doing is I'm calling, I'm creating a variable also called OpenAI reasoning model names, and we're just adding the names of the new models here. So we have GPT-5, GPT-5 mini, and GPT-5 nano. And you see, we have that flexibility to actually go into the components and make changes um, right away and see them reflect into our flows. So that's what's great about Langflow is we have this flexibility to see the code behind the components and make any changes when needed, contribute them when needed as well. So now when I look into the model list, then I can actually see here at the bottom, GPT-5, GPT mini, and GPT nano, and they actually do work. So I'm going to try out GPT-5 nano here. And to actually talk to the LLM, I need a chat input and a chat output. So let's bring this here. And then for system message, this is the prompt. So I'm going to bring in a prompt template. I'm going to hook this up and I'm just going to say you are a helpful assistant who speaks like a pirate. So here we have again our LLM. It's using the new GPT-5 model and it has a prompt to speak like a pirate. So let's see what we get here. I'm going to hop into our playground and we're going to give it a message. And there you have it. It's using GPT-5 Nano as you see here and it's speaking to me like a pirate. How can we do this now with the open source model? So what's great about Langflow is, so this Langflow instance in itself, I'm running on my local machine. So um, we also have the Olama component. So why people might use something like Olama is because they want to run local LLMs. Maybe they don't want their data or their application to have to run through the internet or using OpenAI service. So they want to run things locally. Getting started with Olama is really simple. My colleague David has a video that goes through this step by step, but all you need to do is go to their website here, make sure that you have it installed for your OS and run this command here, which basically pulls the model that you are intending to download. So in this case, again, we have 20B and 120B. You could see how large the size of these models are. So I'll be wary of that with whatever hardware that you are given. So Olama's base URL defaults to localhost 11434. So once you have selected that, you can refresh the model list and you can see here the GPT OSS 20B model is available here. Now on my local machine, I don't have that much space, so it does cause it to run really slowly. But if I would like to use this as my preferred model, then I would just hook these back up to the Olama component and then again, go to my playground and use it and ask my questions here. Now, again, I wanna reference my colleague Phil's blog post. He goes a little bit more into detail about other ways that you can run OpenAI's new models, one of them, again, being Olama. We also have LM Studio, if you're familiar, um, as a component already built into Langflow, but there's other avenues and services where they run um, local models as a service. Some things to name here, IBM Watson X, NVIDIA NIMS. We just released a video showing how to use the new open source models with open routers, so be sure to also check that out. Um, so there are many ways for you to have access to these open source models. 
All right, everyone, that was a very quick video of just how to get started with the new OpenAI models very quickly using Langflow. Again, Langflow is a really helpful way to iterate quickly, go between models and test them out, use them with your within your AI workflows and within your AI agents. So definitely check them out, use Langflow to try out these new models and let us know what you end up building. Happy coding!